your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. I got my co pilots with me. I figure I wear a horror themed shirt since I'm watching a horror movie today. Today, we are watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think this is the OG one. Yeah, the 1974 one. Only thing I know about this, like I've seen who Leatherface is, and um, Blank told me that the dude from Night Court, he does the opening monologue for this, and it was his first acting gig, and they paid him in weed. That's all I know about this. I know some of y'all in the comments has been hyped for me to watch this, so I know that means this movie is probably jacked up. I'm supposed to be better than that. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to love me. Because y'all love watching me get tortured. It's okay. I'm going to put y'all on the list. Oh. You see it. Gang, gang. God, he's so far back now. Yeah, I know my room. I ain't got nothing in it. I'm still unpacking. I'm taking care of the rest of the apartment. But I promise you, by next week, it'll be stuff in here. So by Monday it'd be stuff here. So I promise you. My bad. You, you can't. <laughs> you can't want me to pet you, then walk off to where I can't reach you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I just recently found out that Ricky the Dragon State Boat watches the channel. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, greatest day of my life. <laughs> I don't know if y'all watch scary movies. <laughs> Ricky, I don't know if you and your watch, watch watch scary movies, but I hope y'all do. I just want to let you know. <laughs> you you made our day. <laughs> Straight highlight. <laughs> hey, that's amazing. I have no idea. Huge wrestling fans. Especially Blank. Hey, y'all have no idea. Highlight of my life. But um, I'm looking forward to getting to this because I'm kind of curious about it because y'all have been really excited about this one. So before we get into it, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that bell notification. That way you'll be reminded whenever we drop something new. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. You get access to all our early full-length YouTube videos. You get access to exclusive TV shows and movies that I watch. Um, you get access to a weekly poll to help decide what I watch on Fridays. And you get access to a new vlogging thing I've recently just started. Um, where I just talk about how my day's going, things that's going on in my life, um, things that's happening with the channel, things we're going to try to do with the other channels and stuff like that. Um, that's something that interests you. It's... I've been doing it over there. And don't forget to check us out on social media. Um, if y'all try to get on Discord and the link is not working, let us know. We'll send you a fresh link. The link expires sometimes. I don't know why. Just let us know. And we'll get that, we'll get that link to you as soon as we can. But while that being said, I'm ready to get into it. So I see you on the other side. Let's get it. He is asleep already. They gonna really make me watch this by myself. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The f The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't like none of that. Nothing this mother just said I like. Everything he said sounded f horrible. Shut up. I'm not comfortable with this. What is he grabbing 
though. Diamond is only one of <clears throat> to be handed down as a result of a special grand jury in Hey man, stop showing him, man. Top news story, an informant led officers of the Muerto just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. I was still showing it. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Hey man, I'm not okay with this. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery. Hey man, f all. man you y'all hear what this he's saying? I don't know what part of Texas this is. But it's Kennedy Detroit. A young man reportedly angered by a local television blackout of a sports event jumped from the 10th story window of his apartment. Do y'all hear all this? The lieutenant was treated for minor wounds at Bentop Hospital and released. Armadillo. Today, no one will be collapsed and suspected of sabotage. Hey, this one little radio broadcast makes me never want to go to Texas. Shut the f up. Y'all are not about to have Letterface kiss my in a wheelchair. Oh, this movie already ain't. Why's that truck going so fast? I know he pissed all over himself. And it's that hot out there, too. I'm doing those Reader's Digest word power columns again. Jerry, it just means Saturn's a bad influence. Hey. Y'all remember that TV show, Mama and Me? He got the same haircut as Mama. That's the old slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. That's where they kill him. They bash him in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, oh that's awful. It usually wouldn't kill him on the first lick. What the f We don't see that, do we? They used to hit him with sledgehammers? Oh, well, they don't do it like that anymore. Now they got this big air gun that shoots a bolt into their skull and then retracts it. Boom! And then the boom. I like me. Please change the subject. He making me nervous, too. Hitchhiker. Should we pick him up? Oh, yeah, man. Pick him up, he'll asphyxiate out there. What does he look like? Well, the son of a bitch is gonna smell just like the slaughterhouse. Oh, give the guy a break. He can sit by Franklin. Oh, that. I'm not. No. No. Hell no. No. You didn't start the trip with us. You're not gonna finish the trip with us. Hell no. It'd be none of this sh. Y'all was tripping in the 70s. I think we just picked up Dracula. You work at that place? Oh, no. How did you get stuck way out here? I was at the slaughterhouse. Why would we pick him up? Hey, man, did you go in that slaughter room or whatever they call it? The place where they shoot the cattle in the head with that big air gun thing. Oh, that, that gun's no good. No way. With a sledge. <laughs> See, that was better. They died better that way. He got he to gotta get the out of my fan. They don't send the heads away. You took these, uh, huh? Yeah. He gotta get the out. Ain't no way here. They don't throw nothing away. They, they use the jowls and the muscles and the, the eyes and the ligaments and everything. And the, 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 the fish. I, I see why y'all got excited about this. Y'all are sick. Y'all are really sick. <laughs> Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. <laughs> what are y'all watching that? Pull the f over. I 
I'm exactly 14 minutes in. And they picked up a dude who's and took my knife now. My knife. Not his knife. My knife. He took the knife out of my hand, cut himself with it, giggled, and gave it back. Why ain't we pulled over? Why haven't we put him out? It's six of us. Why don't we jump him and put him out? All jokes aside, I'm not, no. See, this is right here. This is why I would never have made the news by a hitchhiker killing me. Not never. I never picked it. No. There's no way in hell. I don't know. What did the concept come of of picking up a hitchhiker? We ride along, we see a mother walking, and pick him up. If this mother ain't got a friend that take him somewhere or to walk with him, why are we picking him up? There's something about them. I, I don't care. Listen, no, I don't give a 86-year-old woman hitchhiking. I ain't picking her up. Don't care. Y'all can say I'm dirty or not. Y'all want to end up on the poster at Walmart. Not me. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all somewhere in somebody's living room late lampshade or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember that when y'all picked that hitchhiker up. I don't give a fuck. It's raining, snowing. JL, you see that person over there walking? Yep. Should we give him a ride? You want to pick him up? No, there's no way in fucking hell. No way. Hell no. 14 minutes in, I done seen some gross shit. I done seen some crazy shit. Yeah, I already got to pee. Let me, let me go fucking pee. And he looking at them like they crazy. It's a good night. I'm sure it is, man. You gonna cut yourself and take our picture? You can take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. No. You like head cheese, my brother? You you can have dinner with us. I think we better push on now. Jerry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, if this dude's the reason why they get killed, they deserve it. It's a nice picture. Hey, you can pay me now. Huh? Two dollars. No, man. Frankly, give him back the damn picture. The fuck is he doing? Oh, I'm about half ready to call a cop. That's the last goddamn hitchhiker I ever heard. Why did we pick up the first one? And, see, I just, I just don't, I don't know who the first person was who did that and said, hey, guess what I did today? I picked up a total stranger. It was all right. And they was like, yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Who, who? The whole concept of hitchhikers is just blow my mind. If I was walking, I wouldn't want you to pick me up. No. If you pull up next to me like, hey, man, you want to ride? Nah, dog, I'm good. Because I'm thinking you got to be crazy to want to pick me up because you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? You can put me in my car, like put me in your car. We can go five miles down the road and I start you in your ear. You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? We want to stop in this town. Would you fill her up, please? I got no gas. My tank's empty. Transport won't be here until late this afternoon. Y'all can't tell me he ain't got that haircut from Mama, Mama's family. It's an old two-story rock house and sitting up on a hill. I think you have to turn on that road back there, but I'm not real sure. Yeah, yeah 
maybe I seen something like that up that way. That's a setup. Right there. That's a setup. I got some good barbecue here. Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? The transport will be by in a little while. Hell no. Them girls now, they, they don't want to go mess around no old house. Best you stick around here. Ain't no way in here. No, we should have asked him if there was another gas station around. Don't you think he would have told us if there was? Man, it wouldn't hurt to ask, you know? Okay, I'll go in. I don't know! Hey, I bet that's some of that guy's blood. You think that's blood? Yeah, I guess so. And that guy cut the hell out of himself. You think you could do that to yourself? <laughs> no, because I got common sense. Place, Let's go. We? Well, there's a creek. You can go swimming. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Sally. Oh, you don't get your ass in this van. That guy smeared blood all over the van. They they about to eat the last people that came through here. You think that guy's just trying to scare us by you know blowing up my picture like that? He cut you too. What kind of barbecue they eat? That's crunchy. He over there eating people toes. Is that where we supposed to be going? Not in the Scooby Doo when I be going in there. What is wrong with y'all? Looks like it must have been a nursery room. Oh, this was my room. I got to stay here once when I was eight years old. Right after my grandmother died. What happened? Why were we going here? You know what? At the beginning of the movie, when they was talking, they was talking about what they read the little scroll thing. I felt bad for these people. Not so much anymore. Why are we here? Hey! I left my man outside on stuck. <clears throat> He about to be the first one gone. They upstairs about to catch COVID. <laughs> like, why are they being so loud? Like, what is so f***ing funny? Come on, Franklin. It's going to be a fun trip. <laughs> if I have any more fun today, I don't think I'm going to be able to take it. Ah! <laughs> I'm a man lost his shit. Didn't you say there's a swimming hole around here? Yeah. Well, Pam and I'd like to go swimming, man. Oh, uh, there used to be a trail down between those two old sheds. No, we'll see you in an hour or so. We'll see you in about an hour or so. It's about an hour left of this movie, so. We gonna see something. Oh! <laughs> Y'all gone, so he there. Sally? 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 Zero in the world. <laughs> Listen, this is why I don't be going random places by myself. What you looking at? Gasoline. Like, don't they just look wrong to them? I know it's 1974, but damn. I want to knock on that door. I ain't gonna lie. That swing that they just showed, we used to have one of those on my porch when I was growing up. I love that thing. Is 
Is that a tooth? Back it up. Back it up. Got something for you. Bruh. Don't be that person. Go. Hey, Pat, come look at this. What? No. No. Hello. Is anybody home? Bruh. Hello. He ain't never heard of a red flag, have <laughs> The f is that? Why would we walk towards that sound? Yeah. Oh! Kirk? Bitch, you better run! Got done like a cow. Run, bitch. Her. Thanks for playing, boo. I'm not comfortable at all. All right, hold on. I know I paused early, but I'm just, I'm sorry. I just have to ask. Maybe I grew up wrong. But if you go somewhere you've never been before and there's a random house out past a whole bunch of weird that you had to get through to get there, they got a loud ass generator. Whoever you was with at the time knocks on the front door. They go in and after however the fuck long, they don't come back. Did you go in after him? I'm just... Nobody knows where y'all at. Did you go in after him? Because I'm not going in there. At least not by myself. I hey, I might go get some people when we come back. Even then, I'm still not going to be the one to go in. I'm going to find some people that's either braver or dumber than me. The person who's braver than me or dumber than me is going to walk in there. And I'm going to wait outside. And if they don't come back immediately and tell me, oh, they okay, they in here in the kitchen playing spades or something. A wild game of bridge broke out or something. You know what I mean? A heated battle of Monopoly. Something's happened. They don't come back immediately and tell me this. I'm leaving. And I'm going to go get whoever else is left of us and be like, hey, Sally Sue's dead. I came back and got Billy Bob and Billy Badass. Billy Bob and Billy Badass is now dead. Because they walked in the same place Sally Sue did, and they didn't come back. So, we need to pack it up and leave. Is that not the, the game plan, or am I a f***ed up individual? Because I, I need to personally know who's in the wrong here. And I know somebody be like, hey man, them your friends, them your so-and-so. You right. That That's probably the case. But in this situation, my friends and everybody else, any subscriber to this channel who's watched any horror movie that I've reacted to, no, already knows better. Don't put yourself in this situation in my hands, because we already know we already know how it's going to turn out. I'm not risking my life for nobody. I'm not saving nobody. Especially if you're doing something stupid. Walking in these people's house without them welcoming you in is something stupid. If you walk in unannounced and they got you in there on the pot, you know what I'm saying, in the pot at stew, you know what I'm saying, for lunch, that's your fault. You walk to them people's house. They can do that. You know what I'm saying? Especially in this Detroit ass place in Texas. You know what I'm saying? That's your fault. You knew better.
Mm -mm. No. No. Mm -mm. Did you see how he hit him though when he first walked in there? My man hit him with a, a, a horrible pig sound. He walked in there and smacked him with a quick sledge You see how big this is? He had a nerve to hit him twice. He was dead. His body just didn't know it. He was dead. That's completely unnecessary. And then this bitch walking here yelling. You know what I'm saying? You know what's going to happen to her? I, well, I know y'all know. I don't know exactly what's going to happen to her, but I know she's going to end up like the first dude dead. She's going to get a thanks for playing. You know why? Because she ain't got no sense. You know why? Because he ain't had no sense. I, mm, 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 no. No. Ain't no way in here. Her. Like, when I seen that metal ass door right there. Her? Out of this. That chicken try to tell you, bitch, run. <laughs> Is that somebody's femur? Chicken laughing at her. <laughs> There's also another reason why you can't eat everybody's cooking. I'm about to have nightmares of this. <laughs> you being too extra, girl. Get the fuck out. Oh, oh, see? Petty man, you see, oh, about that hurt. You don't think it means anything? We'll protect you if he tries to get you. It probably doesn't mean anything, huh? You worry too much. Now, frankly, only smart ones. He's gonna kill you, Jerry. I know why Jerry trying to pick on somebody. Listen, I think I'll walk down to the creek before it gets too dark. Well, there's a trail down there between them two old sheds. Can I go too? Uh, I think you better stay here. All right. So, Jerry, next on the menu. Um, Kirk! It's a damn shame what happened to Mama. It's been a long day. You don't think that guy would try and follow us, do you? Well, I mean, there's no way that he could follow us. He ain't got to follow y'all. Y'all went to his house. He's probably afraid Kirk will kill him. Kurt was scared of him. Hello? Like, nope, nobody look at this. Nobody's noticed the weird ass shit outside, I guess. Kirk? Are you guys in there? Hey guys, quit playing games. Quit goofing on me. What kind of sound is this? Okay, you guys. Did it say, uh oh, what was that?
this is like a celebration dance. What is he doing? What is this mask made out of? Why his mask look like a construction paper? Hey man, my man had three of the easiest kills in horror history. They walked straight to him. Shut the up. Shut up. Shut up. They must be lost. If they're not back in a minute, we've got to go look for them. Y'all stupid. Please don't be. Hey, don't go nowhere with me and let me have the keys. But what if we get lost too? It was broad daylight when y'all left. We ought to go to that gas station and get help. I'm telling you right now. I'm not leaving here without Jerry. Jerry! They got, they got Jerry on some toast right now. Franklin, let me see the flashlight. I'm going to go look for him. You don't have to go. Now, Sally, don't go. I don't think that's a good idea, Sally. I don't think you ought to go. I mean, he didn't say your name a thousand times, but he's right. Look, I'll go with you. I'll I go with can't you. push it down that hill. Sally, look, I go. Oh. Look, I'll go with you, but I'm going to hold Never mind. Like... I'll just go without it. Sally a little bitch, ain't she? I'm coming with you. Sally, hold up a minute now. God, dog, quit saying her name. Sally, I can't keep up with you. Sally? Sally, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Call her sis or something. Are y'all not going to cut the... I guess it don't matter. Y'all ain't coming back. Y'all about to be dead like the rest of them. Hey, Jay! 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 Y'all don't give a f about Pam or, um, what's his name? They ain't said their name one time. Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. Ah! <laughs> Shut up. I don't care. Ah! Make it to the block. Run. Hey, bro, don't you got a key to the door? I just feel like that's unnecessary. I respect it. <laughs> Sally would have lived. Let's go. Get up. Go, girl. Get your ass up. <laughs> Quit screaming. I'd have took the white pants off and everything. I'd have found some mud. I'd be like Arnold and the Predator. You would have been able to see nothing but this. I'm telling you right now, if that was me, I would get butt ass naked and close my eyes. You're not gonna see my black ass out there. I'll be out there like this butt ass naked. He ain't gonna see me. He gonna run right past. Girl. Hey, his cardio is amazing. I mean, he's right outside. All you gotta do is come through the door. There's no go phone here. You ain't got a phone. You ain't got gas. What the f is wrong with y'all? Take it easy. I'll get the truck. Hey, um. I mean, he was.
was just outside, so you just gonna leave the door open? Three miles an hour. Humidity 98, barometer 29.9 at Ryan. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What are you doing? Uh, you, you got no need to worry. No! No, no, you just cooperate, young lady, and we'll have no trouble. Not out of here. What do you want? Nobody's gonna hurt you. <laughs> no! A broom. A f broom. Listen. I don't care what y'all try to tell me. I don't care how tired you are. Listen, you don't want to live if somebody can beat you with a broom. They didn't, that's the stick part. The broom. The brush. The bristles. What the call? The part the f sweeps. I don't care. She ain't want to live. I know y'all gonna say she's tired and she's been running for the last four hours. I mean, I get it. She ain't ate all day. I get it. But at the same time, a broom. <laughs> and you know that's a small place out there in Texas is probably doing this for real. I bet money it's a small place in West Virginia that's doing this. <laughs> yeah, don't want to run that power bill up. Cost electricity is enough to drive a man out of business. <laughs> but you got a gas station and got gas on a phone. You're out of business. Uh, I hope you're not too uncomfortable down there. <laughs> <laughs> Why he poking her like that? We got 20 minutes left in this movie. Little cool shit. Hey, he in on it. I told you to stay away from that graveyard. <laughs> What? Hope that your brother didn't let any of those kids get away from the whole county So don't nobody live through this? Hold on, so he's scared of them? Let him get away. Are you sure? You damn fool! You ruined the door! So they all slow. Yeah, in there! Bruh, don't you know you're huge? If you don't punch him in his face! <laughs> we'll have some feet right away. <laughs> Why they wanna feed her? Give me a hand with Grandpa. Is Grandpa alive? Well, Grandpa don't look alive. He don't look like he's doing too well. Yeah, Grandpa dead. Y'all got me watching. So. Thank you. Um, so is grandpa like a vampire? Like why 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 did he start eating drink, sip, drinking the blood and start hitting the little like you know what I'm saying, like your food be good, you hit the little dance, like mm, 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 mm. you know what I'm saying? Or is that just a fat thing? Is that is that a fuss? fat people do that? Y'all skinny people that don't do that? But you know what I'm saying? Grandpa hit the fat boy dance. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what the f is that? Can't be helped, young lady. Please. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Um. How they gonna make her a plate, but not let her reach it? Shut up, you bitch hog. He don't like it, ain't that right? You're just a cook! Shut your mouth! I don't know which one's crazier. I'll do, I'll do anything you want. Hey, you're telling the wrong group of people that. Oh, 
Oh, they're crazy as f <laughs> Hey, man, this movie's disturbing as f man. <laughs> like, I don't like how we see her eyes all close up like that. I don't like it. I've been thinking about letting Grandpa have some fun. You always said he's the best. He's the best, all right. Hey, Grandpa, we're going to let you have this one. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, it won't hurt none. What do you mean? Grandpa look like he's 182 years old. If he fart, he's gonna die instantly. <laughs> he trying to fall out like a little kid. Yeah. Grandpa can't even hold a hammer. Hey, this is torture. Hey, this is horrible. Oh, she got loose. Run, little girl, run. Why are you looking around? Run. Do that just faster. <laughs> hey, crazy is fast, ain't it? <laughs> Did he go put a suit on? <laughs> he is cutting her up. <laughs> Shut the f up. What are we doing? Ah! The f What the f have I watched? Like, what the f Oh my god. Um, I, um, I, um, I, um. Y'all are sick people. Something's something wrong with Joe. First off, I'd like to apologize to Sally because I said that she did not have a will to live when they smacked her with the broom and she gave up. Sally might have the, more, the will to live more than anybody I've seen in any horror movie ever. But let me tell you, I thought I was a rap for her. Sally had no give up. She was just tired. She had to catch her second breath. Get her, get her second win. Hey man, I'm telling you right now, there's a there's a family right now in Texas, West Virginia, somewhere in Kansas, maybe New Mexico, that's doing this shit right here today. I promise you they are. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't realize something was wrong with Letterface. Other than the obvious, <laughs> until he was scared of the old boy shaking the stick thing at him. I just don't know how you seven foot two and you scared a little dude with a stick. Well, that's something wrong. Because, you know, all he had to do was this. That dude was dead. He'd have broke his neck. The name Sally was said more in this movie 
about that one dude that Sally has ever been said anywhere for the rest of the time all put together. He was always in Sally, 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 Sally. <laughs> all the time. Their whole friend group is dumb. The whole friend group. All of them. I tell you what, next time I'm on a road trip somewhere, I see a sign that says like barbecue or something with a little rinky dink. I'm not going in. I'm not. Mm-mm. Cause before in my head I'm like, you know, you know that you know motherfucking food they're flapping. I never in my life that I think I'll be eating motherfucking Tammy. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here thinking this brisket, it's Tammy's Teddy. You know what I mean? Like I don't like no. I never thought about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would never stop. Really, the whole group technically deserved what happened. Not to the sense, you know what I'm saying, like they get killed, but something, you know what I'm saying, you can't do the shit you done in this movie and then, you know what I mean, like, once we had the bad experience with the hitchhiker, we're not in this town no more. I don't give a fuck what else we got to do. And, I, hey, man, I don't know who old boy is to come pick her up in the truck. Hey, my man Clutch, though, he because he was coming this way. Swerved, turned around, let her hop in, and went back the same way he came from. He might be the smartest person in the movie. Hey, man, that ain't gonna be no more good the rest of her life. Somebody gonna ask her if she wants Texas toast, and she's just gonna pop off, kill four or five people because they said Texas. I knew this movie was gonna be messed up because y'all was too hyped about it. Y'all was way too hyped about it. Y'all was like, oh my God, I can't believe she's watching this. I can't wait. I I just I should have known. I remember one comment, one comment was like, he's not even gonna be able to make it through it. I'm telling you, the more excited y'all get for horror movies and stuff like that, I know the more, the more jacked up they are. Like, but I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me. I enjoyed watching with y'all. Y'all didn't do it for me earlier. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Don't forget to check out Patreon. Speaking of the Patreon, so shout out to the VIPs. Give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful doll Missy, Big Al, Robin, Big Frank, Crow Crow, Cody Stoudemire, Paul Sawicki, Frost1997, Anna Rondo, Jeff Jernigan, Adam, Grady B. Olson, Red Tail Z, TJ Gingler, Thomas, the Brandons, Garrett, Elizabeth Esposito, Nicholas Finkin, Super Nobody, Rachel Martinez, Jennifer and Natalie, BB98, Chris Nareen, Nick, Coat Movies at Midnight, Jamie Gibson, Miguel Brooks, Caleb, Steve McCluzo, Echo, Peanut, Sammy, Zachary, Jonathan Patrick, Ron, Rocket, Beardo, Blackbeard, Bob, Hot India Media, Amen Locke, Jake Stimson, Benign Board, Jake's Logging, Tony A. Aragon, Catherine Roberts, Dom, LeVar Hawkins. I want to thank all y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. We truly appreciate all the love and support y'all give us. Because y'all could be anywhere in the world. Y'all choose to be here with us. Me, Blank, and Sean are forever grateful. Like, y'all make this fun. Like, when I was on vacation, when I was moving and stuff, I missed this. I missed this a lot. And that was only like, like a week and a half. Me not doing this. I missed this. We have some decorations and stuff up soon. I know it's playing behind me. I'm sorry. I just gotta finish getting unpacked. It's been a lot of work. I'm doing it by myself. So but I'm gonna get off here. So y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night night.